look at you and say, you are just dreaming, you are dreaming, 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 dreaming. I mean, forget that thing, leave that thing. No, 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 no. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, when I see such kinds of people, I know they are not given the ability to enter in. We are not quarreling with you. I just know you are not part of it. He said you will see it, but you will not enter into it. There are people like that in your life who are, it's not meant for them. But they will see it will surely come to pass. Tell anybody, it will surely come to pass. It will surely come to pass. Hallelujah. So there's this little boy, this, sorry, this little embryo cooking up somewhere in a woman's body. She goes to the hospital. She wants to abort the baby. She goes there with intent to abort the baby, to come back home. She and her husband have agreed, I mean, we're going to abort this baby. We don't need this right now. We can't handle this extra load on this nugget. Hallelujah. Amen. And so she's there. She's standing in front of the doctor. And the doctor says, why would you want to do this thing? Ah, that's strange. That's why I God of some of you. Is it, is it, God is going to use you even in your office in the hospital to save lives. To be prophetic. So the doctor stands there, very strange. Benoni Hospital in the city of Benin. The doctor is staying, and the doctor is looking. He said, why would you want to do such a thing? Who knows? This child tomorrow may be a doctor like me. He may grow up one day to become a very important and great person. You know what? I will not do this abortion for you. That's on, that's on, on, on that's, that's, it's not as if the hospital has a legislation where the doctor says, I don't do abortions. But, you know, I mean, this extra money. Tell me about everything is not about money. The doctor looks at the woman. He says, no, 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 no. I won't do it for you. You know what? You go home. Think about it. If you still want it, come back and I'll do it for you. The woman went. She never came back. On the day of delivery, she's in the hospital and she's here trying to deliver the baby. Coincidentally, in a very big hospital, almost specialist hospital, the person who is on duty, I mean, you take duties, but on that day, May 1st, many years ago, she, 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 you know, <laughs> just around, just around 3, 3.15, I think, a.m., and she's there. As she's delivering, here's the person. The same doctor, she looks at the doctor, and she remembers, oh, this was the guy. And she said in her native language, she said, I'll call him Iria, which means I did not abort him. Many years later, this same woman stays, sits, looks, and cries. But she couldn't interpret the sign that was in front of her. May God send you interpreters. May God what? May God send you interpreters. Literally everywhere she has gone to since that time, with the person's name or with the person's photograph, every person and every man of God and prophet, even native doctors, when she was having native doctors, say, no, this child, this one, no, 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 no. This is the solution. This one, this is your solution. Your solution will never be aborted. Yeah. Am I talking to somebody? Am I talking to somebody? There are some of you with businesses in your hands right now which you're about to let go of. And yet that is where your solution is. Can you interpret the sign? The very numbers speak. Am I talking to somebody? Some of your countries is your sign. Oh, thank you, Jesus. The country you want to live is where actually your prosperity is. Yes, sir. You just pick up your bag. Oh, your mates are graduated and they're going home. You just carry on and be going home too. <laughs> when you reach up, you wake up. What am I doing here? <laughs> I want to come back. Now you can't come back. <laughs> am I preaching today? Yes, sir. Are you learning something? Yes. It says the child will be for a sign which shall be spoken against. And please let me say this. Many times there are those who will fight the sign. They will fight the sign. They what? Fight the sign. Fight the sign. Fight the sign. 
Let me shock you a bit. Tell me about Jesus. Jesus. Is a sign. Jesus is a sign sign. that will be spoken against. against. Are you in this church or you've gone home? Do you realize that Jesus Christ is not the finished product? Do you know there are some people who have packed on Jesus? There are some Christians who are excited that they have Jesus and yet that Jesus Christ was only, Jesus was and still is, is only a sign. It's a sign to something. Signs point you to something. Are you in this church or you've gone home? I know you've been so excited. I mean, I love Jesus. I have Jesus. Oh. But the Bible says, Jesus Christ, Christ in me, the hope of glory. It is not about having Jesus alone. You can have Jesus and be very broke. Mentally broke, spiritually broke, financially broke, maritally broke, broke like Brooklyn. There is a hope of glory. Tell anybody there is a hope of glory. Jesus is the pointing. Is the sign when you are on the road and you meet Jesus, it means you're on the right road. Don't stop there. Tell anybody, don't stop there. Some people pack the pack the oh, I have Jesus. Give me Jesus and forget the whole world. No, no, no. Jesus, Jesus himself said, John the 10th chapter, the 10 verse. He said, I have come for a reason. Yes, sir. I've not come just so you have me. I've come for a reason. That you might what? Are you in this church or you've gone home? Do you read your Bible? Yes, John 10 verse 10. He said, the thief comes to steal, to kill and to destroy. But I have come that you might what? And have it in SS. Tell me about SS. SS. Is the real deal. Prosperity is the real deal. You see why they speak against prosperity? He said, it's for a sign that shall be spoken against. He is not. You know, people don't have problem that you have Jesus. But tell them that you want to be rich. People don't have problem with you saying, I want to live, live right, you know. I believe it's right, you know. Uh, no, you will not see anybody ever attacking you for saying, I don't want to fornicate. I don't want to do this. Nobody attacks you. The world, you don't see anybody, you know, who is saying, it is wrong for people not to fornicate. It is wrong for preachers to say, you know, people should not fornicate. you never see any of that. But you see people come up on the prosperity preachers. And that's why he came. Jesus came not just for himself, but so that you can enter into something bigger. Am I preaching today? So it's a sign pointing somewhere that there is life in abundance. Tell anybody, there is life in abundance for me. So I'm entering into the big deal. You're having Jesus is just a sign. It's a sign that you're a potential candidate for greatness. I might not know somebody. But it's not the final deal. It's a sign. And you can, you can live and die having just a sign. What's the sign? You know, I have this um, key holder. You know, you, know so you have signs. Or even this one. Even look at this one, for example. Now. Even this serviette. You know, I think this should be in... Um, I'm not sure. This should be Rome. I have to read it to death. If you, if you look at this, this there's, a, there's, a, there's a structure here. That should be that Rome or I think Greece or something. Greece, yeah? Well, I don't know. Anyone. But, but you see, you can have this and say, oh, I've been to Rome. <laughs> it's just a sign that it exists. Yes. Look for it. Tell anybody, look for it. Look for it. Jesus is a sign. Jesus is what? A sign. The man of God says, this child is a sign. That shall be spoken against. Are you in this church? Yes, sir. In case you still don't believe, let me prove it to you. Genesis, back again, Genesis, we are concluding now. 1 verse 14. Hallelujah. Amen. It says, Let the light be for what? Signs. And who is Jesus? Are you in this church or you've gone home? Who is Jesus? He's the light of the world. <laughs> Don't pack your bags looking at song. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And you hold Jesus and Jesus is looking at you. Morning to evening, you just sing Jesus and Jesus is like, oh, I love you too. 
But that's not a big deal. That's not the real reason I came. I came for more. I'm going to know somebody. I came to usher you somewhere. I'm a sign that there is more. I'm a sign that what? I have come that you might have life. Amplify so that you might have and enjoy life. The proof ah, yeah, that you have reached your destination is when you, are start, when you start enjoying life. Am I going to go somebody? Well, like he said, this is for a sign that shall be spoken against. Every time you talk about prosperity, they will fight it. Even you, inside of you, something will fight it. You feel like there should be something else in your life. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. This is for a sign. Isaiah, the eighth chapter, let me conclude. The 18th verse. Now. Back again, back again. Are you seeing now? Every scripture is a sign. Yes, sir. Are you seeing now? I'm following signs. Yes, sir. I am following signs. Yes, sir. The chapters and the verses, all of them, is a sign to something that God is about to say. So now, you see, you see, we started a journey. We started, we began from, from where? Isaiah. Isaiah. So we followed, we reached where we're going to. Now we're coming back. Isaiah. We're on course. Of course yeah. I and the children whom the Lord has given me. And Jesus was the son of God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So Jesus was a sign. Mm-hmm. Tell me about Jesus. Jesus. My very Jesus, My very Jesus. is a sign. You yourself, you are a child. Yes, sir. You are what? Yes, and so you are a sign. Tell anybody, I'm a sign. I'm a sign. I'm a sign. I'm a sign, I'm a sign. I'm a sign of greatness. Sign of greatness. <laughs> you know what Jesus Christ said? He says, you are the light of the world. Meaning you are a sign to the world. He said, the creation waited earnestly for the manifestation of the sons and the, the children of God. Why are they waiting? You are a sign. When they look you, they want to interpret you. Hallelujah. May people interpret you to mean that God is good. Amen. May people look at your life, look at you and say, no, God exists. Amen. You are a sign. You are a solution to your world. It says, the, it says, it says, it says, I and the children whom the Lord has given me are for signs and for wonders in Israel from the Lord of hosts. So God is upon Zion and God says, okay now, I want to send a sign to earth and he sent Jesus. Now Jesus comes, Jesus does, Jesus goes. Then he says again, I'm sitting here right now and there are new needs in, my, in the world. Let me sit down and let me send a certain man by name Gibson on your cow colo. And God is saying, a day is coming when some people will need to come to Ukraine. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I will need a man get through whom to make it happen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It he was a sign. Yes, sir. Some of you, your parents interpreted the sign correctly. Yes, Better than some of you did. Am I going to get somebody? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There are still things tomorrow which are connected to his destiny. Which God has already seen. You know, the same way after making a, a, a what do you call it, an electronic. You suddenly realize, okay, for this electronic to be safe and secure, there are some things we need to put. And then you come into, it comes into your head that you need knots and bolts. You need to screw some things to fix it in place. Those are signs. There are some people here right now. You are the one to hold your world. Am I talking to somebody? You are a sign to the world. Tomorrow when the world will be crumbling, they will be looking to you for solution. Tell about I'm an answer. To the needs of my generation. I'm a solution to my world. I'm a sign of hope to my generation. Hallelujah. When people look at you and they're about giving up, they should say, No, he did. 
I began by mentioning the name of somebody, Archbishop Benson in the house. He was a sign. To which little children like us looked when we were small. It was a sign and proof that God did with him that God can do with another person. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You are a sign that there is prosperity Amen. in your family. Amen. Am I not going to somebody? Yes, Let's be on our feet. We're going to pray. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. How do you interpret your sign now? Amen. Amen. When I was broke, it was a sign that I would be rich. Yes, sir. I can't remember any day when I ever stayed and be crying that, you know, crying hopelessly. No, 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 no. I met God too early to know better. Yes, sir. Is this thing working? It's working, Papa. Praise the Lord. I've always said this to you, and I'll say it again for emphasis sake. Poverty is a qualification for riches. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Poverty is what? A qualification for riches. For riches. Mm -hmm. That you are broke or poor is a sign that you can be rich. He that is down, what? Fears no fall. Yes, you are already down. That's the least you can be. You are in the foundation. All you need to do is to begin to, to build. Yes, Amen. Amen. Tell him I've reached the bottom of the port. The of the From here on, From here I can only go up. I can only go, I can only go high. Can only go high. It is not what is happening. It's your interpretation of it. Yes. Please hear what I'm saying. If you are broke, it's okay, it's not news. There are many broke people who are very rich today. So it's just a sign. When we were facing what we were facing in 2013, you know, first thing I saw as I looked at them, um, um, one day I was just by the direction of the Spirit. You know, God has a way. That's the sign too. God has a way. I just stumbled upon a message by Pastor Benny Hain, And he was teaching about you know, something and what his ministry had to go through and other things. And I looked, I said, ah, this happened to Pastor Benny. Good news. Why oh, am I worried? It's a sign. Let, ah, it happens to Benny. And he's here. It's a sign I'm going somewhere. Yes, Am I talking to somebody? Yes, so the more I went, the more I saw cases of men whom it has happened to, the more I, 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 I got excited. Oh, and I'm in good company. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Are you that person you have been hurt and bruised, mm. abused and used? exploited and left to the side. Oh. Made mistakes in your life. Oh. Where you are in good company. Oh, Hello? Hi. Hi. Every person you see who is great today has been dead. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Am I talking to somebody? Yes, sir. Some of you have made mistakes that you, your mistakes you think is now qualifies you for nothing but the low parts of life. That's not true. Amen? Amen. Yes, we have made mistakes too. Yes, sir. And we know many who have. Am I talking to somebody? Yes, sir. So interpret the sign correctly and you have a glorious life. Just, just thank the Lord for what you've heard. Thank the Lord. Thank you for what you've heard. Appreciate him for you know that you are a sign now. That you are a sign and that you are a wonder. Thank you, Jesus, for these signs and wonders that you've given us. Thank you because you have been speaking. And Lord, now we begin to be sensitized to what you are saying, what you are doing around us. Pointing us in the direction which you have called us to. We shall fulfill destiny. We shall fulfill destiny. Thank you, Jesus. Please, I'd like you to specifically interpret some of the signs in your life now. You have opportunity to interpret it yourself. If you are going through a situation, begin to give the right interpretation. Hello? Please, understand me. Go ahead and pray. If you are sick right now, you have opportunity to interpret it. What you say is what will be. You have a, a, a bad or a negative uh, medical report. It's your interpretation that matters. Your parents are going through a certain situation right now. It's your interpretation that matters.
there has been deaths before or, 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 or situations of death. It's your interpretation that matters. Interpret it correctly and watch it play itself. Go ahead, interpret. Go ahead and interpret. Go ahead and interpret. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I was talking to one of the daughters one day and she said to me, she said, I've never had a crush, even a crush. Not to talk about love, even somebody I crushed on, never. Sometimes I'm concerned whether I'm normal. Then one day she had a crush. It's a sign you're a human being. Am I talking to somebody? Don't kill yourself for being human. Are you in this church? Some of you, you are in another world. You wake up one day. So we have to teach you. One day she had a crush. I said to her, you are normal. It's a sign you are what? Normal. You are a human being. Yeah. Praise the Lord. It's a sign you are normal. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Sign you are normal. You are a human being. Yes, sir. Sometimes you things happen in your life you shouldn't kill yourself for. Mm -hmm. Some of you, you have things you don't know how to talk to or to share with anybody yes. that are happening to you. It's a sign you're a human being. Am I talking to somebody? Yes, sir. It's a sign that one day you will find the right person. Oh, it's a sign one day you will have a wife or a husband. Yes. Yes. It's a sign that one day you'll be able to carry a baby. Am I talking to somebody? Yeah. So some things happen to you or happening in your physiology or your... your <laughs>